All right, so my question is, which of these side views of this cylinder, which one is a cylinder, which one is a rectangle? Which of these side views is uh, a cylinder and which one is a rectangle? Any thoughts on that? Wouldn't it depend on how it's shaded? That's right. So the side of a box and the side of a, of a cylinder many times will look about the same. So in order for them to be different, I need to shade them different. So a cylinder might be dark on one side and then lighter on the other. And it's a little hard for me to shade this way, but because my phone's in the way. But. That would be like a cylinder and then a, a box just may have like a solid gray color. I'm not going to make one side darker and the other side lighter. It's going to be much more consistent. Right like that. Now you can take the same idea and include it with other things because there's a lot of things that are rounded like for instance. The edge of a phone is, is curved. The, the surface is flat, right? So you could color that all one shade. You could even do like if you were going to do a cell phone, you know, you could draw your cell phone and then you can kind of draw like a, a glare through it too. Like let's say you were underneath a fluorescent lights at school. It would have like two streaks across it or something like that. Or you could draw a streak from a window or something like that. Or, or you know, kind of move the phone around and see what you have and then you also would have like a a rounded side and then a, a less rounded side where it would be dark on one edge and lighter on the other you could do the same thing with you know something simple like these scissors like i would do it dark here and then light and try to make it a little bit of a rounded look where I've got shading on one side, but it's lighter on the other. And then you could do the opposite here. It'd be dark on this side and lighter on this side. But everything should generally have some sort of grayness to it so that it's not part of the lines on the paper. Um, and and it's, uh, it's separated. So compare these two sides of these uh, scissors here. This one looks a lot more 3D than that one. This one looks very flat, but because I took the time to make this one have some color to it, it brings it out more. It makes it seem more there because it's all kind of shaded to one tone and a little bit of a rounded tone too. So it makes it seem more realistic compared to, you know, these scissors that aren't shaded at all. So those are just some things I want you to consider.